We get it, you vape. What's up guys, today on We Get It You Vape, I'm going to show you how I wrap my coils, how I put my coils on my deck, and how I wick my coils. So we are going to jump down and I will show you how I do it. Alright, so I start out with some 22 gauge Canthal from kbvapes.com and then I cut a piece about the length of my hand and then I bend it like that and run it through one of my homemade spinner things that I made <clears throat> and then I bend it toward itself but on the other side so it's like that on one side bent towards the other way and then I take another bottle cap that I made with a hole and then a nail through it and run it over so it sits on top like that and then I just spin depending on how many wraps you want I usually do about seven to eight <clears throat> and then it'll have a very nice coil made alright so I already have some pre-made coils that I made earlier look like that so now let me get to the installation I am going to be installing them on a freak show Watofo Freak Show, three post. <clears throat> so, what you want to do is you take your coils, run them through one side, tighten down your negative. Take your other coil, put it in the other side, tighten down your negative. And then you can tighten down your positive. I have an ohms reader, 0 0.13, it's a low build. <clears throat> Alright, and then snip your ends, the ones on the inside are a little harder to get. Man, you can straighten everything out, <clears throat> move it to the position that you want it in. All right, and then once you've got the cell in there, now snipped up, cleaned up, you want to throw them on. Well, I mean, if you have one of these that has the button that heats it up, then you know awesome <laughs> I don't so put it on a mod the mod I'm using today is the RX 200 s so you want to until they heat evenly and at the same time 
heat up, cool down at the same time, heat from the inside out. <clears throat> Works best for that is a pair of ceramic tweezers. So you mess around with this. Taking out your hot spots as you're moving along, if you just brush. And then do the same thing for this side. Right, and just mess around with them until you get them to the point where they heat up at the same time. There's no hot spots, and then they cool down at the same time. And you want them heating from the inside of the coil to the outside of the coil. So if you have that part, then you grab your cotton, which I'm using cotton bacon. <clears throat> thin it up a little bit because that was there's a lot of cotton <laughs> give it some rolls thin this side up a little And what I like to do is I like to grab one of the ends that I twisted and twist it really, really small. And then if you kind of pinch it in there and then roll it, and it's a lot easier to grab from this side. Get it in the middle. <clears throat> Take your other side. Do the same thing. Pull it through. Grab your scissors. <clears throat> I fluff mine out a little at the end. Give her a little snippy poo. Same with the other side. I only fluff it out at the at the ends because it's a lot easier to cut. That you get more surface area. All right, so then you snip that side. I'm just gonna use my ceramic tweezers for this. Stuff it in your juice well. And it's going to look like that. Take your juice that you prefer. Paint the coils in the cotton. So you get it nice and saturated in juice. Get 
And this is the same juice that I did the review on, the Dr. McVapes. Give it a test fire. Then you pop your top on, pop your cap on, and then we'll take her back up and see how she works. So we got 0 0.20 at, we'll go 60 watts, <clears throat> at 60 watts. Smoking good, tastes good. Yeah, so that's how I coil and wick my RDAs. So yeah, a buddy of mine started his own channel, primarily doing the same thing, besides the fact that he also does car stuff too. That is called The Vape Garage, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put his link down in the description. So yeah, be sure to check his channel out. He's pretty cool and he's good at what he does. And be sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe.